My name is Eric Smith, and this is an excerpt from my pet project, Stories from Cubo. 18-year-old Princess Penny lived at the top of the second tallest tower of Mewtwo Castle. Until she was five years old, she was the heir apparent to the Cubo throne. That's when her brother, Prince Eldon, was born and took the number one position. Cubo law says that the firstborn son of the reigning monarch becomes the ruler should the king or queen perish. If no sons are born, then the firstborn daughter shall become the queen, with her spouse being prince or princess consort. When Penny was 15 years old, Queen Marigold gave birth to twins, princesses Jennifred and Juniper. Princess Penny's favorite pastime was walking around the Cubo Mall with her best friends. There was Lisette Spangenberg, who lived with her parents, Gemini and Rachel Spangenberg, in an apartment on First Avenue in Gangrel Island. There was Chadwick M. Harding III, who lived in the village of Assarge on Kings Island with his boyfriend, Jordan Metopoulos, who was her father's personal assistant. Chadwick is the kingdom's Akapee expert and works at the Akapee Preservation Society. And then there was Cheryl and Keebler, who was in a long-term relationship with Private Junkalomo, who was one of General Anaki's crew members. Junkalomo lived on the Orion, which was the Andorian spaceship. The Orion looked like an upside-down green pyramid, and it sat in the sky above downtown Cuville between the floating islands of Portua and Life Tree. The introduction of the cyborg DNC-89s to the royal family meant that the 26 human guards that were replaced got to change their careers. Seven of them became the human commanders of the cyborgs. The other 19 accepted the generous Severus package from King Amadeus and explored other adventures. Jacob Beaumont, who had been stationed at Princess Colette's palace, decided to purchase a corner plot of the newly erected Cubeville Mall and open a pet store called Pets Corner. He sold mostly the typical pets, i.e. cats, rabbits, dogs, rodents, fish, lizards, birds, but he usually had something special in the store. He liked to display one magical breed of creature at a time. It was a fairly su successful marketing idea.